Morning everyone and welcome to church or kids talk at church this morning. Um, we've been looking the last couple of weeks at the book of Genesis, specifically chapter three, when we learn about how Adam and Eve disobeyed God and um, how they sinned and the effects of that sin. That's what we're looking specifically at today. So we thought today we might take a look at a character from one of our movies called Wreck-It, one of, sorry, one of our favorite movies called Wreck-It Ralph. Have you seen the movie Wreck-It Ralph, boys and girls? So, as you might remember from Ralph, Ralph wrecks everything. And today we're going to have a look at how sin affects everything in our lives. More specifically, sin wrecks everything, just like Ralph. So today, we're going to have a look at a few different scenarios that will show us exactly what sin's like. Okay, kids, so before we get into our skits about how sin wrecks everything, we need someone to be our wreck at Ralph, someone who's going to represent sin. So which child should I choose? Hmm, I think Kennedy. What? Okay, so kids, we've been learning about how sin wrecks everything. We saw all those different situations where sin just came in and wrecked it all, and everyone wasn't too happy about that, were they? Now, in today's passage, we're going to learn more about how sin just wrecks everything in the world. And so be listening out for that while you're doing your kids' sheets in today's sermon. Um, now, the, the good thing, though, and we're going to hear more about this next week, is God has got this sorted. He sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And so that's something to look forward to for next week. Um, now, I thought it's only fair that Kennedy's possibly got a little bit of repentance after all the sort of um, trouble she caused today. So she's going to pray for us, kids. Go for it, Ken. Dear God, we know that we sin every day and we know that sin wrecks our lives, but we just want to say thank you that you sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Amen.